All right, so now we're going to talk about the next piece of equipment I'd like you guys to be familiar with. And this one is the BVM, or the bag valve mask. Again, it's something I'm sure you have all seen before. You've seen it used, and maybe even use it yourself. But we're going to go over it just to make sure you guys know how to use it if the situation were to arise in the back of the MSU. So first, we're going to show you how to manually open the airway. And since none of our patients are going to be trauma patients, we're going to use the head, tilt, chin, lift maneuver. Kevin's going to demonstrate for you here. Push down gently on the top of the head while lifting up with the chin, and that'll manually open the airway. We'll watch one more time. Push gently down on the head while lifting up with the chin, and that'll open the airway for us to be able to move on to the next step. Now I'm going to show you how to put the, the mask on there and get the proper seal. So you're going to put the mask on there, and you're going to do the EC clamp. So the top part of the mask, it's going to look like your hand's forming a C. And down here, your hand will look like it's forming an E. Now, I know it looks backwards in this in this video, but we're just doing it on this side to, for demonstration purposes. But you can clearly see the C. And you'll see his other three fingers make the shape of an E. And this helps you get the proper seal on the, on the mask so no air escapes. And it's also a good way to help keep the head in the neutral position because you can take your bottom three fingers and lift up on the chin to maintain that head tilt chin lift maneuver. And the next step, we're gonna attach the BVM to the mask part and show you how to ventilate. Take the cap off, attach the mask. Then you're gonna put the mask back onto the patient using your CE clamp. There you go, and you can maintain the head tilt chin lift with your three fingers. And you're gonna squeeze the bag slowly you do not have to squeeze the entire back so it's flat because you can over ventilate the patient, but you do want to give it a good squeeze. And then follow your CPR guidelines for how often you're supposed to squeeze. And then once we have a secured airway in place, it's continuous BVM. There is no more 30 to 2. And now that we've went over this procedure, hopefully you guys will be better prepared if the chance arises that we have to, you guys have to use that to help us out.